Hello friends and passionate readers. This video is about the measure of central tendency and spread which is the main part of statistics. I have also made a video on the probability which speaks about where the probability is used in business. Talking about this video, let's see, let's scroll down. First is, what is the measure of central tendency? Measure of central tendency includes three things, mean, median and mode. This video is made strictly in relation with how we could analyze the data with the help of pandas means what is the use case of these two terms central tendency and measure of spread when we need to apply ml model on any data set which is provided to us so this is very important that we must understand these terms of statistics mean means average we all know what is mean it is average median means the middle number when data is ordered or we say it is arranged from least to the greatest okay mode means the number that occurs the most sometimes uh, considering the median when we arrange the data uh, if the data is uh, either even or odd we can count the data so if the data is odd like 7 so we get 3 terms in the left 3 terms on the right so the we can get the middle term but for the even data set we have to take the average of 2 terms to get the median now comes a very important term outlier outlier are the numbers that that are either small or big as compared to other terms in the data set we will understand this in the third slide so in this slide as a keynote I would like to mention that the measure of central tendency includes mean median and mod and outlier outlier has a deep impact on that which we are going to see in the next slide let's move towards the next slide that very important the title outlier changes mean median and mode yes it is absolutely right let's take an example this is a data where we could see in the previous slide if you remember that outlier is something which is different from the group like we have a group which speaks about apple banana and I, I just uh, write a new term pen there so pen is a different term as compared to fruits so pen is the outlier in that case like we we did uh, we do odd one out so outlier is a odd one out so in this case we could see that this 90 is a outlier now we could see that outlier outlier is a large number so we calculated the mean median and mod with outlier and we also calculated mean median and mod without out outlier we could see that with large outlier on removing it when you removed it mean and median if you look at mean and median it decreased but it has no impact on the mode similarly if we carry the same experiment with the small data set we could see that when outlier is removed mean and median it increases whereas mode has no impact so in this way while we are getting the data to analyze it it is very important to understand the term outlier and if it is there in the data set we have to take the specific actions otherwise it will change uh, the behavior of the data as you could look in this slide now let's move to the next slide it is a measure of spread 
we have seen till now what impact the measure of central tendency can do on the data set or if outlier is included or it is excluded what impact it have on the data now there is another thing which we have to consider which is called as measure of spread which includes variance and uh, standard deviation first of all before proceeding to this the question comes why to include measure of spread also why not only the measure of central tendency is enough like we consider these two data sets if we calculate the mean median and mode of these two data sets these are same so it seems from uh, the analyzations that both the data set are same but if i uh, draw the graph of two data sets uh, if i draw the data set and the values of the data set i could see that uh, there is some difference between the two data sets values so if i say that i could not uh, so it means there should be some more uh, performance parameters to analyze the data set uh, only measure of central tendency should not be enough to for justification of this step here comes the variance and the standard deviation so variance of standard deviation means how much the data points are behaving with respect to the mean value whether they are moving very away from the mean value or they are moving close to the mean value if the data points are close to the mean value it means that that particular mean has a great impact it it is of high weightage so if i uh, if i look and calculate the variance of the data set a and b which could be calculated using the below formula which includes xi is the mean uh, uh, xi is the value sorry mu a is the mean mu b is the mean of the second data set we calculate the difference between the data values and the mean calculate the square of that added the values and take the mean of that value so this is a step to take the variance and if you want to calculate the standard deviation it is the square root of the value which is obtained in the previous step so uh, whether we calculated the variance or we calculated the standard deviation it came out to the conclusion that the standard deviation of both the data sets are different like 3.114 for the data set a 3.11 uh, sorry uh, what is uh, it is the value is 2.06 2.607 for the data set b so this implies that both the data set are not same even though both have same measure of central tendency so a conclusion comes here which says that when we have a data set when we calculate the measure of central tendency also go for the measure of spread now let's go to the next slide so this is the frequency distribution this is a frequency distribution uh, graph of both the data set means how many times a particular value appears like we have this data set one it appears two time so this is the frequency occurrence of a particular value of a data set so if we have draw, if we draw the mean here which is 4.57 we say that both the data values or points of both the data set are not equally distributed they have the different distribution different distribution includes they have the different dis variance or standard deviation so this also uh, implies that whenever we go to any data set we should analyze the frequency distribution graph so that we can reach to a better conclusion this is a small code how i implemented that and matplotlib is used to draw the graph so uh, i have drawn that so in short what i say that the whenever you get a data set you go with both the measures the measure of spread and the measure of central tendency now 
statistics in the different domain you know statistics like in the last video whose link I would provide in the uh, description I have uh, discussed about the probability and its impact so probability is also somehow the part of this mathematics or statistics because it includes uh, uh, the previous video also includes combination and permutation which is also a part of statistics mean median mode or our, uh, what I say that variance or uh, standard deviation is also a part of statistics so somehow all things are related and when we uh, when we study about them when we have the fruitful discussions about them we come to a conclusion that if we want to excel in ML AI data science or want to apply such models in stocks prediction life sciences uh, weather predictions retail sector insurance sector education sector it is much important to learn these statistics because this is the backbone of this is a complete uh, backbone uh, of statistics this is a complete uh, backbone of AI data science and ML so in short I would uh, tell that uh, the video uh, the main purpose of making this video is to uh, make you aware that uh, we must have a good understanding of uh, concepts like probability combination permutation mean median mod uh, variance or standard deviation like we have considered here in the video I have also provided examples that how different things like outliers ha uh, help in uh, help in d differentiating the data or uh, d or changing the behavior of a data or uh, how measure of spread is very important uh, while uh, analyzing the data along with the central tendency and in the last video it is very very same video thanks and open for questions in the comment section and this is beautiful image which uh, which which has a background of strategy statistics and thanking the readers uh, who had spent some time in um, watching the video uh, it would be great that if you if, if, if the uh, if the readers are open for the discussion they ask the questions in the comment section I would uh, feel happy to reply to them this would increase the confidence in me as well as uh, we will try to go more in the right direction of data science uh, thank you uh, and have a good day stay home stay safe thank you